Of the many isms people argue over in Korea, racism seldom seems to cross people's minds. Staring at people of different races, whispering rude names behind their backs, and even saying it out loud to their face happens in broad daylight, and the people who point it out are often ridiculed for being too sensitive. But there's one cartoonist who's not afraid to speak out. Yerong began her online cartoon, a black person sitting next to me on the subway, to talk about what she learned from Manny, her boyfriend from Ghana. We sat down with Yerong, along with Michael and Mel, to talk about what racism means in Korea and what it's like living in Korea as a person of color. The word Wegugin can be directly translated into foreigner in English. Korean people openly use the word Wegugin to refer to anyone of a different race. When people point out that we should stop using the word so often, the usual reaction from a Korean person is that there's nothing wrong with calling a foreigner a foreigner. But how does it really sound to those on the other side of the utterance? It definitely creates a distance. For me, I've been here so long, I'm kind of in this weird sort of tipping point where I've been here a long enough time where I kind of do feel like I'm a part of Korea. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not, but I am at the same time. I've invested a lot of my life here and Korea's invested a lot in me. So I kind of feel like part of the furniture. So when I go somewhere and all I hear is, oh, wait again, I'm just like, I live here. <laughs> I mean, in the neighborhood, I've lived in the neighborhood I live in for five years now. And it was funny because I was walking somewhere the other day and I heard somebody, like I saw two people walking across the street and they saw me and they were talking really loud. And one of them was like, oh, there's a Wibugin, Wibugin in your neighborhood. And the lady with, with this guy said, that one speaks Korean. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, I kind of feel like I belong here, but when people just automatically refer to me as a wavy, and I'm like, okay, I guess I don't, you know, it really does create a distance between me and Korea. I really love Korea. There's a lot of opportunities here. I really love Korean people and things in Korea. I like my life here a lot, but the, when sometimes there's a sense that, you know, Korea doesn't love me back as much, and that makes me consider yes. my future here and the way that I engage, how much I intend to invest in living here. When you are, at least for me, like mm -hmm. when you are a foreigner mm -hmm. in Korea and you are also black or a person of color, mm -hmm. it's easier to fall into that role of being an outsider or mm -hmm. being another. Because even within mm -hmm. my own country, mm -hmm. I'm an outsider. Exactly. Because it's like no matter where, no matter what country I go to, mm -hmm. I will never really be. Yeah. A big thing, especially in Black American culture, is being touched, especially our hair, because we have a history of like our people who were enslaved, like being in museums mm -hmm. and being seen as property. Mm -hmm. So coming up and trying to examine me in a way is saying that you don't respect me as a person. Mm -hmm. You see me more as an object or even an animal. <laughs> and especially, like mm -hmm. I said before, I have, um, being black, I have strawberry blonde hair. Mm -hmm. And so people always want to touch it. So I've always hated since I was young, people touching my hair. The first time it happened, I was at a teacher's dinner. Mm -hmm. And I had told all the teachers at my school, please, if you want to touch my hair, ask me, mm -hmm. and I have the authority to say yes or no. Mm -hmm. I was like, but please do not just come up and touch me. So we're at a teacher's dinner, we have a new principal, everyone's laughing and talking, and I feel something tug my hair and my head goes back. And I was like, what is happening? Mm -hmm. And so I look around and there's no one behind me. And so I just continue to eat and I feel it again and I notice it's the waitress tugging my hair on like while she's passing. Mm -hmm. And so I asked my um, head teacher, I was like, can you ask her if she's 
<laughs> tugging on my hair. Mm -hmm. And she, she stops and she's like, are you touching his hair? And she's like, yes, I wanted to see if it was a wig. Obviously, she's an older um, lady, so my head teacher is younger, and she's speaking with her, and she's like, no, it's not a wig, it's this natural hair. And so she puts down what's in her hands, and she puts both of her hands inside of my head, and she just starts pulling oh, no. on it. And then she's like yelling back to her friends in the kitchen because I guess they were talking about it. And she was like, it's real, it's real, it's his. My eyes started to well up with tears because mm -hmm. I'm sitting there. And I'd been in Korea maybe two months at that mm -hmm. point. British racism, American racism, Korean racism, three completely different beasts. Yeah. Or maybe three different flavors of the same one, I don't know, but yeah. The thing about Korea, I think like I said before, we don't, uh, Korea doesn't have that long history with other people the way that like the West does. And it, uh, specifically for us, it doesn't have a long history with black people specifically. Mm -hmm. So, and a lot of the, the information that Korea has about black people comes from racist people from the West. I do feel like it's changing, it's getting better. Mm -hmm. But I say, I was like, I feel like Korean or like the Korean government and like some people in Korea want foreigners to come in and they want them to live, but mm -hmm. sometimes they want them to like, okay, now come to our country and be the most Korean you could be. Mm -hmm. And so it's like, okay, I come into Korea and they like, okay, understand our culture, understand our people, understand our language. And I'm like, okay, I can try my best to do that. Mm -hmm. And it's like, okay, now understand my culture and understand my people and understand my language. They're like, mm, no, 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 no. We don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. You came to Korea, you just, you yeah. do what we do. And I was like, yeah, but maybe if we like understand each other, it's like, no, 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 no. This is what I want to do with someone who can be able to understand the people around me. So I think I should be able to stop and stop and stop and stop and stop. 또 그런 사람들이 계속 말을 하면 할수록 또 거기에 힘을 입어서 나도 불편한 거를 쉽게 말할 수 있는 그 분위기를 형성하는 게 중요한 것 같거든요. 일단 저는 계속 만화를 그릴 생각이고요. 그래서 아직까지는 어 구체적인 계획은 없지만 제가 최근에 조금 실험을 몇 가지 하고 있어요. 그래서 그 인종마다 그리고 국적마다 또 성별마다 어떻게 삶이 달라지는지 조사를 하기 위해서 제가 설문조사를 좀 하고 있거든요. 그래서 그런 설문조사를 바탕으로 해서 제가 만화를 하나 더 만들려고 계획하고 있어요.